Sonar X3 introduces comping, the smartest way to record and edit takes. It's now easier than before to isolate and promote your individual takes with our improved comping tool and speed comping workflow. Let's take a look. The first thing to note is that the recording default setting is a new comping mode to use at the recording stage. Left click and hold on the record button to select mode or right click to access preferences. When recording in comping mode, new takes automatically mute other takes and the most recent take now appear from top to bottom. The record button has new graphics to indicate the modes. The comping graphic shows a short red line that represents recording above a dark gray line representing existing material. A pattern section indicates the previous material muted. Overwrite is indicated by a red line that changes to a dark gray one. In this mode, any record material replaces the existing material. Sound on sound is indicated by a red short line over a longer gray line. This signifies that old material is kept along with the new material, but in this case, the old material is audible. Once the takes have been recorded, break open the take lanes by either clicking on the take lane icon or pressing Shift plus T. Move the cursor over the take lanes and the cursor changes to indicate that the smart tool is now in isolate mode. This is new to Sonar X3, and it is a much enhanced version of the old mute tool in isolate mode. To isolate part of the take, click hold and drag in the body portion of the clip over the required area. This will create split points at either end of the selected area and add crossfades between the clips. This action will follow any active snap settings. It also promotes the clip as the audible clip, mutes all the other takes, and the isolated take is displayed in the main track lane, which now displays a comp track. The promoted clip is identified by a colored waveform and highlighted clip header, whereas muted clips have a gray waveform and dull header. This comp track is an overview of the lanes that are currently isolated. It can be click-dragged and moved in the same way as a regular clip, but doing so moves all of the takes and clips, not just the isolated ones. Click-drag on any of the split points to slip edit the crossfade points. Click-drag up and down to adjust the length of the crossfade. A great technique for comping with this new tool is split the takes into short logical phrases. No need to select the required one or be too accurate at this stage. Just click, drag one of the takes. Also, you can use the dim solo button to hear your takes and context your song. Click on the dim solo button to turn that on and adjust the dim solo level in preferences, audio, and driver settings. Once they've been split, select the first clip and press Shift plus Spacebar. This starts the Lane Audition playback and is part of our speed comping feature. Change the Audition clip using the cursor arrows, down and up to move vertically, left and right to move horizontally. Use this technique to cycle through the takes, auditioning them to decide on the keeper take. Once you have made your choice, either press enter or click on it to promote it. Move to the next phase using the right cursor key, then cycle down through the takes at this point. Repeat this process to build up the comp track. Alternatively, if you prefer a more mouse-oriented workflow, it's also possible to just click-drag and isolate the particular takes that you want to keep using a similar technique to the old mute tool in isolate mode. Click-drag in the lane that you want to use. If you want to isolate from a split point rather than adjust it, hold down the control key. That will override the crossfade tool. All this can be done while playback is running. Once you've started playback, just pick up anywhere in a clip to start playback from the start of that clip, and the clip is automatically soloed and auditioned. Swipe the part you want to keep. A clip is created and promoted to the comp take. With the transport still running, click in the next clip you want to listen to. Repeat this process to build up the comp take. Once the comp track has been built, adjust the crossfades using the click-drag technique if required. Close the take lanes and the track now displays the promoted clips in the main track. Alternatively, there are new cleanup options available. 
Right-click over the comp track to reveal the context menu. Here there are a few options for housekeeping take lanes and their clips. Delete muted takes will remove any muted clips. Flatten comp will bounce the comp down to its own lane, lock it in place, and solo it. Delete empty layers removes any empty layers in the track. Working on multi-track takes such as drums is just as easy as their new options for grouping found in Preferences, Project, Record. Group all clips groups all tracks that are recorded simultaneously. Group only clips and folders creates a group for each folder. If multiple folders are in use, multiple groups are created. Once grouped, comping one track will comp all tracks in that group. Great for use on drums or other multi-miked instruments. That's the new Isolate and Improved Lane Audition tools that make comping in X3 fast, easy, and intuitive.